Hello guys and welcome to another video from Time of Business. I'm George and today we are going to discuss the Etsy Profit Calculator. Today I'm going to show you the version that is provided to you by Everbee. This is a free app that you can start using today. So I'm going to jump on my computer and show you everything that you need to know and how to use it. If you want to sign up for Everbee, make sure to use the link in the description below. And without any further ado, guys, I'm going to show you how to calculate your Etsy fees. So guys, I just jumped on my computer. As you can see, we are already logged in Everbee. And here on the left, where you have all those research tools, you have the Etsy calculator. And here you can see Etsy profit calculator. Now, the cool thing about Everbee is that you can also use this uh, Etsy profit calculator if you have a free account. So you do not need a paid uh, subscription. Make sure to check the link in the description below in order to sign up for Everbee. I have an annual growth plan, meaning I have access to a lot of other features, more advanced features when it comes to shop analyzing, to keyword research. So if you want to find even more about Everbee, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And once again, check the link in the description below in order to sign up for Everbee. So guys, as you can see right here, the first thing that we have is the sales price. This is the price that you are going to list your product for. So let's say that my product is listed for $100. As you can see here on the right, we have a summary where already uh, it has been updated when it comes to sales to $100. Then we have the shipping price. So let's say that I'm going to charge $10 for shipping, uh, depending on the location that I uh, ship to. Then we have discounts. Now in order to sell better on Etsy, you want to make sure that your products are on sale. So you have a discount available. And here you can choose between a percentage, so 10% or $10. Both cases, since it is $100, it's going to be $10. Now I'm going to go even further. Here I have cost of item, meaning how much does it cost me in order to build this item. And here you need to take into consideration everything. So make sure to take into account for all the products that you use, all the materials, the time, the labor, maybe you pay a salary. So make sure to be as accurate as possible. Maybe you even pay yourself. So let's say $35. Then we have shipping cost for order, meaning this is how much I'm actually going to pay for the shipping. Now you can uh, put here $10 as well in case you want to charge the same shipping price. Now if your real shipping cost is $10, make sure to put here, let's say $15 when you charge your customers because you are going to also pay a fee uh, on this shipping price as well. So Etsy is going to take a fee on this as well. Even if you include it in your total sale price and you have free shipping, you need to take into account that you are going to pay a fee on that as well. You have a few more um, details here. So you have the option to expand, to choose between Etsy ads and uh, offsite ads. I'm going to leave it at none for the first example. I'm going to make another one so that I show you even more in-depth analysis. And now I'm going to hit calculate. And as you can see here on the right, we have everything taken into account for. So we have our original price, which is $100. They have subtracted 10%, meaning it is now 90. And plus the shipping cost of $15, we now have a total price of $105 that we are going to receive. So whether they pay an additional import charges, VAT, that doesn't affect you because they are going to pay that difference to Etsy directly. And out of these $105, we are going to pay the Etsy listing fee. So you always need to take into consideration that in order to list a product on Etsy or to renew it, you are going to pay this fee. So this is great that Everbee takes into account this as well. Then we have the transaction fee, which is almost $7. Then you have the payment processing fee, which is $3.4. As you can see, the total fees are 10.43. Then we also have our cost of goods. So that is why you have here total cost of goods, so COGS, and then you also have shipping. So the shipping cost that we are actually going to pay for. And this sums up to $45 plus the 10.43. As you can see here, we have the total revenue, then we subtract the cost, so the total cost, and we are left with $49.57. And you also have here the percentage. So this is a great way to see the percentage, so the profit margin that you have on your business. 
when you want to increase your profit margin, so your percentage, make sure to increase the sale price or maybe the shipping cost. Now let's do a second example. So I'm going to start all over again. So I'm going to do this time $110 and I'm not going to charge anything for shipping. So I'm going to offer this product as free shipping. Then I'm going to do 15% off on this uh, product. So let's say that I run a sale. Then the cost of goods is $35 once again. Then the shipping cost is $10. And then something very important is to take into consideration Etsy ads. So you have the first option where you can actually go with Etsy ads and here you can go with a percentage or let's say that for every $5 that I spend uh, on my uh, Etsy ads, I get a sale. So let's try it with $5 and I'm going to hit calculate. And as you can see already, my profit is only $34 out of $110. So if I were to spend $5 in order to get one sale, all those fees add up to almost $60 in total. Now let's say that you want to run offsite ads. So let's say that you are a new seller on Etsy and you opt in the um, offsite ads and you are going to hit calculate. And as you can see now, we have almost $70 that we need to pay to Etsy in fees and uh, offsite ads and so on and we are left with a profit of only $24.17. So you need to take into consideration all of these things because I just had a, a sale on Etsy and I opted for a short period for uh, offsite ads and they took an extra 15%. Once you become a bigger seller and you have surpassed the $10,000 mark on Etsy, you will be obligated to pay the 12% uh, percent on your sale. So let's say that this is the second year that you are selling on Etsy and you made a sale using the 12% uh, offsite ads, you are going to pay $66.33 and you are going to be left with $27. So you need to take every single penny that you spend with Etsy in order to realistically see how much you earn on Etsy. Make sure to do all of that in order to be as profitable as possible on Etsy. So guys, if you want to use this Etsy profit calculator, make sure to check the link in the description below in order to sign up for Everbee. If you enjoy this type of content and you want to learn even more on how to grow on Etsy, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have a bunch of YouTube videos on how to do that. And also check out our website timeofbusiness.com because we have a lot of blog posts on how to grow on Etsy so you can go and read those and also we have a free ultimate guide to a successful start on Etsy that you can grab for free. So that was the video guys that I had for you today. You now know how to calculate all the fees on your Etsy store and maybe now you can improve the sale price or maybe calculate the discount that you want to use on your future sales. If you enjoyed this type of content guys make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel, check out our website and I'm going to see you on the next video.